Hey guys, today off of the supply table you're going to get a messy paper, you're going to get a paintbrush, and you're going to get back your artwork. We're going to start off by doing some drawing on our castle. You're going to start by drawing the door. You can see that the door needs to touch the bottom of my paper. It goes up, over, and back down. So if it makes it easier for you, flip your paper upside down. It's just like drawing a big U shape. All right, so you're going to be doing this with your crayon. You can use that same color, or you can change to a different color. And I'm going to draw some vertical lines on my door. This kind of makes it look looks like there are some wooden planks on my castle door. After I have my door drawn, I can do the top part of my castle. So. From one tower to another, I need to pick one of the lines that I know. We know verticals, horizontals, and diagonals. I would say you probably don't want to use one of those because obviously I can't do a vertical line across that look kind of goofy. But an angled line across the top of your castle would look pretty cool. You could do this thing that kind of looks like an actual castle top where I do a vertical horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, all the way across. This is more on what castles actually look like. Or you could do this curved line, all right? So pick one of these lines. That can be the top of your castle, right? So either an angle, curve, or this castle type line. I'm going to do an angled line. So I'm going to do angles from tower to tower. The last thing I need to do before moving on to the next step is I need to draw two triangles. One at the top of each tower. One and two. So there I've got my tower. I did the door, I did the top of it, and I did the two triangles. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a pattern using three different things. You can use lines and shapes with that pattern. So maybe I want to do a curved line. Maybe I want to do some circles under that. Maybe I want to do a bunch of vertical lines. So I've got three different things now. Now I'm going to repeat that going all the way to the bottom of my castle. So we're doing my curve, my circles, and then my vertical lines. All right, so I drew my door, drew the top of the castle, drew my two triangles for my towers. Then I added a pattern using three things. So I did a couple different kinds of lines. I also did some circles. So I did a pattern of lines and shapes. And I did three different ones. And I repeated that from the top of my castle all the way down to the bottom. The very last thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to paint my castle. We're not going to worry about painting the sky around the castle because it's going to get cut out and we won't see it. But we are going to be using temper cakes today. Remember that when we use temper cakes, our brush needs to be nice and wet. And we just gently rub that color with our brush. And then we can paint. So I'm going to put a blue door. And we're going to get more water on your brush if you need it. Try not to drip. You can see I dripped over there. Paint your actual castle. The top part of it's going to be kind of tricky, all right? You need to take your time, paint in those lines. All right, I'm almost finished. I did my door, I did the walls to my castle. The very last thing I need to do is the top of my towers. I'm not going to paint on the construction paper, okay? We're not going to worry about that. But now I can paint my towers. You can do your towers two different colors if you want, or you can do them both the same. Your call.
I'm going to do mine both the same using the toes of my brush every time I paint. Alright, when you're this far, you're finished. So you need to start off by drawing your door, drawing the top of your castle, and drawing your two towers. Then you're adding a pattern of three different things going down your walls. Lastly, you're going to use your temper cakes and the toes of your brush to paint in the towers, the walls, and the door. We're not going to paint the background behind it because it's going to get cut out. 